So this is the makeup tutorial for the Dripping Springs High Steppers and how we do our makeup, or at least how I do my makeup for football games. So I've already done my foundation and like my base stuff and then I have like a little bit of contour on and my eyebrows because those kind of three things are what you kind of do on your own. So what you need, you're gonna need like a full coverage foundation, just like a base and then um, if you want to fill in your eyebrows, that's like you and like do it how you please Optional step and then same with contour or bronzer like that's an optional step if you want if you're feeling fancy um, But it's not necessary For high steppers Neef doesn't really care What Neef I'm sitting on a con so that's why it sounds like I'm farting, but I'm not it's the con um Neef does care about blush. So this one is the Wet n Wild one in Mellow Wine. You kind of want a, like a maroony mauve blush. And most of the babies will get their makeup soon. I know it's already, I think it's already come in. So you'll get your makeup soon. I don't have that makeup anymore because I have really old makeup that's not even the same brand. So, and it's like all cracked and disgusting. So I use Wet n Wild. Cause I'm bougie. So you just basically want to put on as much as you normally would in a day and then like a lot more. So um, if you're not wearing enough blush, Neef will do it for you and you don't want that. So, oh God, that looks really bad. Um, You just need it to be visible. Yeah, that looks god awful. So I'm just gonna like buff it out a little bit. And I'm also like getting a mirror, not just my phone. There we go. Okay, that's not that bad. So you can obviously see it on my skin. It needs to be visible or else you'll get in trouble. And then next is highlighter, which again, like Neef doesn't really care about, but I like it and I know like everyone likes it. So just, I'm gonna talk about it. I use the Anastasia Glow Cake cause I'm bougie. And um, I use this gold one because I just, I would just use a gold highlighter because your makeup is gold. It just makes sense to me. We're maroon and gold go tigers. So. I usually mix white sand and then take like Golden Dawn because that one's really gold. And then maybe mix like center. I just kind of mix them all together. And then, oh, there's a mirror in this. I think it looks pretty, but like, again, this isn't like a super necessary step. But it's just something I like to do. And so, yeah, put that on the high points of the face, the nose, the cupid's bow, and your Gucci. Um, so like I high key forgot eyeshadow primer, so I'm gonna go get that real quick. Okay, I'm back. So I would recommend putting on like some sort of eye eye base, just so like the colors come out more vibrant and. Um, it stays all night and all through the game. <sighs> so just smear that on your eyelid. Okay, so then I'm just gonna set that real quick with like a matte, like a matte vanilla, sh wow, I'm so good, I'm such a good beauty guru. A matte vanilla shade boring stuff not very important this is just what I do but you pretty much just need some sort of base just so your eyeshadow will stick they sell really good ones at the drugstore um but yeah and then I'm just setting it down to kind of cancel out all the like veining since my primer is clear and just kind of give me a nice good little base to work with so after that we get into like the actual eyeshadow part. And again, I don't have the Yofi makeup. And wow, the lighting is so good. Um, I don't have the Yofi makeup, so I have to use my own. I use 
the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette usually just because it has all the good colors. Now what I like to do, and I know the makeup set only comes with two or three colors, so I usually just like to take like a medium tone brown and then just kind of put that on my lid to kind of create a base and just make it a little bit easier and seamless for all the darker colors to blend together. Um, so everyone pretty much has some sort of matte brown eyeshadow or bronzer. So I would just do that first just to make everything a little bit better. But again, it's not necessary. And in my palette, I'm mixing Silk Cream and Me EFM. M E F O, not me. -E. I'm so intelligent. And then I'm just blending this into my crease, up to my brow bone, kind of, and over my lid with this Wet n Wild fluffy crease brush like so so like you see there's not a ton of color but just like a little something a little bit darker than my skin tone just it'll make the darker colors a little bit easier to blend so next um, not, is it okay i'm gonna take the this is like an it cosmetics like angled crease brush and dip that into my maroon shade, which I'm using this one, which that one I think is, I think it's Jax or something like that. I don't know. J-A-C-Z, the maroon shade. So I'm going to put that on my brush, tap off a little bit and kind of start stamping that into my crease and then lightly wiping back and forth. Cause you don't, what you, what you don't want to do is smear like a bunch of color everywhere and then not be able to control where it's going. and then slowly kind of build it up a little bit. Okay, so that is the maroon and it looks really wild right now, but don't worry. So next, you were gonna wanna go in with the gold and I usually just use my finger um, because I think it looks better than it does with a brush. So I'm going to pop, um, Queen from the Jaclyn Hill palette on my ring finger. Pro tip is if you're using eyeshadow, if you're applying eyeshadow with your fingertips, always use your ring finger because it's the weakest finger and then it won't tug as much at your eyelid and cause wrinkles. So we're going to pop that all over the lid. We're gonna take a little bit more of that maroon and then just make sure that crease is popping. You know? Then I'm gonna take that same Wet n Wild one, go back into my light, light brown shade, tap off the excess, and then just kind of blend it all up in to itself. Um, now I have a bunch of fallout, so I'm just gonna kick that away. Okay. 
Okay. Now. What I like to do is go take like a little pencil brush with that maroon and then go like right on the lower lash line just to kind of smoke it all together. But again, do what's like looks better on your face and your eye shape. And yeah, because not entirely necessary, but I think it looks better. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to do a little bit of highlighting more than that. Okay, so I think, if I'm not mis mistaken, the um, High Supper Makeup comes with like a really bright white shade. I usually use like a little bit more goldy toned one because it just like looks better with the look. But what we're supposed to do is use that like really white shade and there's not one in that Jaclyn Hill palette so I'm using the highlighter. And you're gonna pop this under that brow bone and in the inner corner because it's cute. So just kind of pull that under there. And right there okay. next we have eyeliner which definitely is a must um, I'm not the best at eyeliner but we can make it happen um, I recommend getting like a black like a felt tip or a brush tip one just because you can make the nicest wing with these and it's like the easiest but again do whatever is easiest for you so I always start by like putting a thin line just like on my lid and my lash line And then I'm just gonna flick it out to a wing. So that's kind of the wing situation we have going on right now. Now again, like the wing isn't required. Like if you don't know how to do a wing, I'm, I'm almost done. My cousin's in town. So, um, if you really don't know how to do the wing and you're not comfortable with it, don't do it because um, not worth having jank eyeliner for a whole game. Okay, so that one's kind of jank, so we're gonna ignore that one. Um, but this one looks pretty good, so. That's the eyeliner. Again, like, if you aren't chill with, like, the wing situation, um, don't do it. Because if it looks whack, then you're screwed. <laughs> so, you obviously have to put on mascara. Um, lashes are, like, totally optional. They're kind of totally your thing. I don't do lashes, really, for games just because it's long and they're outside and then they fall off and then they look weird and I don't need lashes all the time um so yeah I'm just gonna use the Lancome I think this is the Monsieur Big yeah Monsieur Big mascara but just use your fave but yeah don't forget mascara it's important it on the bottom
Okay. And I'm just gonna make sure everything looks A1. Yeah, those are the eyes. And then last step is the lips. I'm using the Anastasia one in Catherine. It's the liquid lip. Um, but everyone has their own dupes and preferably use the Yofi one. Uh, but it just needs to be like a maroon hued lipstick that matches the whole look and doesn't look really whack. So like no bright, bright reds or pinks or purples, maroon, you know? So. Okay, so that is the finished look. And then pretty much after this, what I would do is put the hair half up, half down. I don't have like any hair tools over here, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fingers at your ears, pull it all the way up, and then brush it to where you have no hair in front of your face make sure all these are pulled back to where you like looking straight on like your hair like literally looks like it's a ponytail and then for games get like those little tiny hair ties pull it back probably like brush this out a little bit but um pop it up there and then spray any other wispies back but other than that this is kind of there's stuff all over here. Where we're at right now, I'll let you kind of look. So the key points are pretty much dark blush, maroon in the crease, not brown, gold on the lid, and then a maroon hued lipstick. And then you'll be Gucci to go. If you have any questions, ask me. I can help. I can, um do eyeshadow for people you know so yeah this is how you should look on game days much love love y'all